Yo, and welcome to Asphalt Legends Unite, aka the, the game that's going to rob you of your pockets if you decide to shell on this game because you love it so much. This video is essentially to remind people, and also because of the video I made long ago on this game, before Legends Unite was ever in the talks of anyone on the internet, literally. And that video should tell you enough about how this game was, you know, it was in a good state. You know what I'm saying? It was perfect. It was fun. And even though it was tedious in terms of, you know, ranking up because the process was just that long, depending on how good you are. I advise you to watch it because it's going to tell you a lot. Now, understand that I made this video when I was... You know, not as comfortable like I am today. I wasn't really that comfortable putting my voice on a mic, period. But now, today, this time of year, and shit like that, I'm comfortable as hell. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I advise you to watch that video. Especially if you think you're going to get on Asphalt Legends Unite and enjoy it. Because I'm going to let you know right now. When you see that video, you see what happened to the game. Before Legends Unite ever became a reality. Just, just know, if you, if you get stuck into spending money on the game a lot like i did which i also mentioned in that video too uh yeah just 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 know you're part of the club buddy we're here to talk about legends unite and the eminent downfall of this game essentially the same way as asphalt nine legends before we get to that though like and subscribe and i'm still i'm doing videos just not a lot obviously i'm starting to pick up a lot now at work so it's going to be one of those days again where i'm just not really uploading a lot and probably just going to upload way more eye candy videos but other than that let's get to asphalt legends unite so this updated version of asphalt 9 legends all it really does is update the game to have way better visuals and also a higher garage level so yeah that's that's, that's just really all i see in that update i am a veteran at this game not a veteran veteran like oh i was playing day one no i'm a veteran in this game in the sense of like i played this game a lot a lot back then before the atomic nuke known as the c7r grand prix update came that you know i was playing the game a lot till that day and that was when I slowly lost love for the game and just stopped playing it all together because game loft, they, game loft don't give a fuck. And yes, I am going to say this right now. If you want to, you know, shill your money on this game, if you, if you want to be paid to win, because obviously you're going to have to be paid to win and a goddamn sweat at this game. What the fuck? Just, just be ready to do all that. And I'm not saying that you should stop playing the game. It should be up to you if you want to stop playing the game. I'm just here to let you know that before you sink a lot of hours into this fucking game, you need to know this shit before you think about doing that. The game off, quite frankly, don't understand what it's like to, you know, actually care about their community. Because if they did, they would have been did what a lot of people would have been telling them this whole entire time. Add a casual multiplayer. And on top of that, make it like Asphalt 8 like it was before, where you can pick a class that you want to be in. You get loaded into a lobby where everybody else... And then you get a selected amount of tracks to pick from, I don't know, I think it was like four or something like that. And whatever track the whole lobby picks is what the track is going to be for that whole lobby. And then everyone can just pick whatever card they wanted to use within that class. You know, that was the perfect multiplayer that should have been in this game. But they still neglect it to this day. Because if it ain't making them money, if it ain't squeezing people of money out their pockets to the point where they're literally broke as shit. <laughs> and they're not... You know, constantly having a goddamn Call of Duty moment where they're just losing because top players that already have the best shit because they've been playing for so long. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's crazy. There's there's things in this game that people should know. Like the fact that, you know, multiplayer, still the same type of multiplayer, still the same abusive point system till this day. The only difference is they just knocked it down to 10. And also, I'm going to put in some new shit that I probably ain't put in that video before because either it slipped my mind during that time or I just ain't really care much to put into it because I'm already saying enough about the game to let you know that this game will literally fuck you up at the end if you think you're gonna like the game at the end of the day in terms of multiplayer basically this game is uh <laughs> let's just oh, say uh, this you know the multiplayer that this game has has always been in this game the one thing i will say that was crazy that they did back then that i noticed when i played the game when that update dropped even before then too you know how you can check 
the amount of points it takes to get to each class, which is also tied to ranks, because there is only a rank mode in that game. And I know somebody's going to come through and play, uh, multiplayer 2 was casual multiplayer. And I'm going to just say this right now. That's not casual multiplayer, my God. That's literally beta 1 of multiplayer 1. But just in its own mode and used as a goddamn limited time multiplayer. That That is not casual multiplayer. If it was casual multiplayer, I would have been able to use my goddamn Chiron that's been sitting in the damn garage and collecting dust bunnies on the goddamn windshield for goddamn two years straight. If you were to check that back out and then go into a lobby afterwards, and you will notice it around B class to A class, aka gold to platinum. You will notice something really retarded. First of all, there is this thing called league mixing, which I also mentioned into the game too. And what league mixing is, is where basically they put you against a higher class amount of people. You're being paired with people who are already in that class, therefore keeping you from being able to get there. But the only difference between that threshold and the threshold I'm gonna get to next is that the B class threshold when it comes to league mixing, it doesn't really get bad unless your luck is just dookie. And I mean luck, like, the game keeps giving you twisty-ass fucking races. And you just want to use a car that's fun. Or you just get shitty tracks overall. And the people that you playing against, they all just want to fucking kill you for no reason. They want to fucking KD you for the sake of doing it. Which is what that update, even to this day, enables in the game, which is where the toxicity part comes from. You would be dealing with that, but 10 times worse once you hit platinum. Like, you was not getting up there unless you, by the grace of God, you know, that nigga's looking down on you right now, and he's like, I got you, homie, and just, you know, gives you the best lobbies possible, and you're gonna be able to get there, but you won't be able to, because that's how gay kept the shit is, and that is terrible, because it's been like this literally since, not even last year, for I think a good couple of years since then, it's been going on for that long, and the crazy part is, people probably gonna come out the woodwork now and be like, oh, I can't believe it, why they make it like this, it was never like this back in the day when I played, yes, the fuck it was, the only difference is, you played around the time where this was actually the most abusive, it's still the most abusive, but it's just toned down just by a goddamn hair, <laughs> and that's not even enough to say that that's good, that's really just saying that's all fucking bad, and the fact that they're now embracing league mixing, which is terrible. Like, there's no casual multiplayer in this game. Like, I remember playing Asphalt 8. And I remember being able to use whatever car I wanted to use in whatever class I picked. In whatever race the lobby voted. I remember that. I don't remember having to pick a car and pray to God that the game gives me a fucking track that is suitable for my car. I also used the example of the Exotic Rise W70, aka the better La Ferrari that Ferrari is getting so butthurt on the fact that it looks better than. <laughs> Because that car has the worst, well not, not the worst really, I guess maybe in this class the worst drift capabilities ever. Because it cannot drift at all fast around corners. And I think the radius on it is just that bad. It's been a minute since I've even played the game for real like that. I did not play any extensively just to, you know, like use cars like that. Because you can't. The multiplayer, is, the multiplayer won't let you. It's, it's going to shit on you if you use a car like that. Literally, it will. League of Mason is just terrible. Because like I said, it's it's just going to fuck you over. Like once you get to Platinum, that's when you ain't definitely getting nowhere. And you're just going to get D-ranked. And you're going to go up and rank again because you got D-ranked. And it's, it's just going to be the same cycle over and over again. And I also mentioned in that last video a year ago that I'm saying that you need to watch if you even think about playing this game. It's easier to lose in this game than it is to win. Because with that update that I mentioned the atomic nuke known as the c7r grand prix update that update enabled people to just straight up be dickheads on the damn tracks like it was it enables people to just do shit like that i get it there's a 366 them i get it you can kill people in this game to get a extra position but is that really necessary to do because there's someone doing better than you at the moment in a goddamn race. With all that, this is all in Legends Unite. This is all just to make money off of you. It's the same thing that Call of Duty does, which is SBMM, it's EOMM, and all that crazy bullshit. And the fact that if you buy a bundle, 
that you get is your lobbies for a good moment because you spent money on the game. You know what I'm saying? It's literally, it's Call of Duty before Call of Duty started doing it. And I've even said to my friends a good couple times that this game is the biological child of the family that wanted this to happen. And Call of Duty is the adopted child that they brought in to make the family tree continue with this bullshit. That's basically what this is. And like I said, you don't have to stop playing the game if you don't want to. Just be prepared that if you want to enjoy this game, you're going to have to be at least a sweat at it. You're going to have to spend a lot of money on it because if you think you're going to be able to play this game for five years and think, oh, you can just get shit for free if it's, as long as you just play a lot, that's going to drain you so fucking fast and make you feel like you have to spend money on the game because you're going to keep getting bodied by people who, again, played the game longer than you and already have a good amount of the good shit and don't have to worry about it that much for real or people who straight up wail on the game. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the way it is. If Game Off cared about its community, they would have, one, added a casual multiplayer. Two, added it like it was an Asphalt 8. Like, I'm going to say this right now. I don't recommend the game to you. If you if you was thinking, oh, uh, I want to play this game, but I need more, like, input. And if I want to play this game, like, I need to know who has more knowledge of this game. So I know if I can trust them or not. And I'm not going to trust no fucking YouTuber who's in their program that's going to say this game is fun, this game is worth it. Or just someone that just making an ad on the game to get some extra bread and they don't even know shit about the game. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know a lot about the game no more, but I know enough about the game to this day that it should tell you to step the fuck away from it. Because if you don't, you, you're going to get hit with that post-purchase clarity every time. You play this game. I'm, I'm telling you this right now. I, I think I forgot to mention this too. This is the last thing I'm mentioning. Uh, the placements of the amount of points you get depending on where you place. Very inconsistent. Because look, I've been in lobbies before. Back to back of straight up full lobbies. Eight player people in these lobbies. And I came third place twice. And I've always known this, to be honest with you. I just probably ain't never brought it up in the first place because it's something that, again, I, I didn't really give a fuck about because I'm already saying enough about the game. But basically, the point system is so inconsistent about it, about if you're going to get points, if you're going to lose points, or if you're just not going to get any or lose any. The first time I took third place, I actually gained points from that. Literally, in a full lobby. But the next lobby I get into, same same amount of people. And tracks does not matter. And if it does matter, that's just another reason why you really shouldn't be playing this game. I came in third place again on the lobby afterwards. Same position. Same amount of people in the lobby. And I lost 10 points, bro. And the crazy part is, when I took third place and gained points, I only gained about, what? Two, three, four points. I lost 10 whole points after that. And literally the same number of players in the lobby. And like I said, if it's to do with the race itself, like the track, then that just goes to show that you really don't, you really shouldn't be playing this game. But yeah, that's, that's basically it. This is just a warning. Like don't, don't play this game. If you really want to save your sanity, I hope y'all make the right decision that I play this game. And for people who see this and just think that, oh, I'm just bagging on the game because I want to, just know I played this game and it's worse. I played the game and it's worse literally before Legends Unite even existed in anywhere on the internet. And on oh God, shit was bad. I'm just voicing exactly what I seen and dealt with in the game. Go watch somebody else who's going to pillow talk you into getting into the game because they're giving you positive shit and not the real. That's about it. And I'll catch you all in the next video.